Um, we're now going on to item number two, uh, recognition of Leadership West Palm Beach 2016 graduating class. Um, the certificates will be presented by uh, Jack Frost. Uh, Lon Tegel is Lon here with you? I guess Unable we're going to be here. He's ailing a little under the weather. So we're going to have Ryan McCabe. A very poor substitute. Uh, no, come on. <laughs> um, and uh, Wendy and Link. Wendy, uh, Wendy Link. Uh, th this is the steering committee uh, for Leadership West Palm Beach, and those are the graduates. Uh, and Jack, would you like to start? Thank you very much, Mayor. Uh, my name's Jack Frost, West Palm Beach, and I'm here with, with Wendy Link, David Baker. Wendy and I were the founding co-chairs of Leadership West Palm Beach, and Ryan McCabe, who for a number of years was the chair of the program. And this is our 17th year here with the graduating class. And I must say, Mr. Bannon, this is probably the most ethical class we've had yet. <laughs> oh, he left. <laughs> but with that said, uh, the class has, really, this is one of our finest classes, very interested, very questioning, and very dedicated to the city of West Palm Beach to the extent that at the wrap-up session, there was a clamor for how were they going to learn more about the city and its history. Sure enough, the mayor had the answer. Pioneers in paradise. The 110 years of the history of West Palm Beach, they will each be getting a autographed copy thanks to the mayor. So with that, <laughs> with that said, I'll turn it over to Ryan. Thank you very much. As you all know, um, Leadership West Palm Beach is a program of the Chamber of Commerce here. Its mission is to cultivate leadership potential of individuals and to help them utilize and foster skills that will um, improve programs and opportunities here in the Palm Beaches. We operate the program through a series of six days which attempt to expose these leaders and future leaders to various aspects of the community, including uh, government, health and human services, education, economic development, <coughs> arts and culture. This year we had a very big class, 26 leaders and future leaders here. We had six days organized around either a theme or a geographic area. City Place Day, Western Communities Day, Health and Human Services, City Center, Community and Culture, and the North End. I want to extend two thank yous. First, thank you to you, members of the Commission and the Mayor. Um, as you know, we start off every year with a Q&A session. You have all participated. The Mayor is extremely active in our program, and I must say, it's always a hit. We do these reviews. You'll be happy to know you all always get sparkling reviews from the students. And your substantive and meaningful participation uh, really make it special for our program, and we appreciate that. Next, I'd like to thank our sponsors because it helps make the program a little cheaper for our participants. Uh, Florida Power and Light, the Palm Beach Post, Rakenis and Associates, and BB&T. Thank you very much. At this time, I'll ask Wendy Link, one of our founders, to come forward so that we can recognize our 2016 class graduates. <coughs> Thank you, commissioners, and thank you, Mayor, for your support. I think when David and uh, Jack and I sat in a conference room with Dennis, I guess 18 years ago, we had high hopes for this program, and I think it's, uh, it's met and exceeded our expectations. And knowing some of the people in this class, I think in top, on top of being the most ethical, as Jack pointed out, I think it's also one of our closest classes. And I think that's a, a real testament to the program, as well as the fact that, as you all know, when you like the people you're working with, you'll tend to work together a little bit more and get even more done. So I look for great things in the future from this class. So with that, uh, if you would please come up and uh, get, receive your certificates. Uh, commissioners and Mayor, I present to you Michelle Bashoon. Well, I'll tell him your name. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle Bashoon, I'm with Walton Lance, Hash, Schroeder, and Carson. And okay. if you wait up here, we'll take a whole group picture. 
Okay, uh, the next two people are not able to be here today, but I'd like to recognize them. Robert Barkin with Ackerman LLP and Newton Brooks from Radice International. Next we have Brian Donahue. I'm Brian Donahue with the Wantman Group. <laughs> Patrick Fuentes. Patrick Fuentes with the Palm Beach Post. Robin Galanti. Not sure which way to turn. There's yeah. more people this way than there is this way, but I'm Robin Galanti with the Morganti Group. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Sarah Gualtieri. Robin. I'm Sarah Gualtieri with Palm Beach County um, D Division of Human Services. Mr. John Lacey. Hi, I'm John Lacey, Senior Vice President and Wealth Management Advisor for Merrill Lynch. John? Yeah. You can see what a diverse group this is from all around the community and how much they do have to contribute. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Guy Montante. Guy Montante, Assistant Fire Chief with West Palm Fire Rescue. And I'll point out that his chief, who's in the audience, is a former graduate of Leadership West Palm Beach. Mm -hmm. Chip Morris. So see where you may be heading? <laughs> Hello, I'm Chip Morris uh, with TD Bank, America's most convenient bank. <laughs> <laughs> Marissa Murphy. I'm Marissa Murphy with Pioneer Linens. And your brother was just here a few minutes ago. Oh, <laughs> we need to get him to do the class. <laughs> we have class 18 coming up. <laughs> Carlos Navarro. Hello, I'm Carlos Navarro. I'm with Anchor Commercial Bank. No pitch, no. Yeah. <laughs> Tammy, o yeah. Tammy O'Rourke. I'm Tammy O'Rourke with Glidden Spina and Partners. We're a commercial architecture and interior design firm. Wonderful. And not able to be with us today is Christopher Pacini with Chase Bank. Next we have Mark Parks. Mark Parks, Director of Finance, the City of West Palm Beach. Let's hear it for the city. Woo! The man with the money. Sherry Pavlik. Thank you. Sherry Pavlik, Leeway Daily Architects. Clark Piper. Good evening, Clark Piper with Semex Construction Materials Florida, building the future. Very solid company. <laughs> Pam Rada. Pam Rada, Palm Beach Outlets. Pam? Pam. Yeah. <laughs> Jessica Rosenthal. Jessica Rosenthal, an attorney with Ackerman Lincoln Sartori. Wait, which firm? <laughs> Would you like to say that again? <laughs> Very fine firm. <laughs> Michelle Schneider. I'm Michelle Schneider with Kaylor Dot and Levine Public Accountants. Heather Sherrod. Heather Sherrod with Roderick Simo CPA. Bill Smith. Bill Smith with the law firm Jones, Foster, Johnson, and Stubbs. Scott Swigert. Thank you. Good afternoon, Scott Swigert with Swigert Law Group. <laughs> Stacy Townsend. Corporate attorney with Gunster Law Firm. Another good firm. Mm -hmm. Robert Weiss. 
Hello, it's Robert Weiss, Florida Power and Light. And Karen White. <laughs> Thank you, my name is Karen White with Home Health Services of the Palm Beaches, care that you can trust. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor, and thank you, Commissioners. This is the class of 2016. So before, before you sit down, I have one more thing here. The Leadership West Palm Beach class of 2016 is individually and collectively a strong group of leaders that will continue to improve our community. They have met monthly since January of this year to bond and learn about the city of West Palm Beach so they can be more effective in their leadership roles. My experience tells me that the relationships that they have built will be everlasting. With that in mind, the class of 2016 decided that they wanted to recognize one of their classmates who is a leader's leader and who played a pivotal role in bringing this group of leaders closer together. A shining star amongst a group of stars, the recipient of the MVP award has shown diligence and determination in assuring that the class and the program as a whole is strong. The recipient has organized external events to enhance the relationships of the class and has also embarked on organizing an alumni group. The recipient has a winning personality and a wonderful smile. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the MVP award for leadership, West Palm Beach class of 2016 to Robin Galante. We're going to go put some money into the local economy now on Clematis Street. 